Welcome to the Port of San Diego's Stormwater Best Management Practices or BMP training for industrial and commercial facilities. For your reference, this training will be covering the following four topics. An introduction to the port and its stormwater management program, Stormwater 101, Best Management Practices to the Rescue, an overview and implementation, and finally, reporting and important contact information to keep in mind. With that said, we will now start our training. Section 1. The Port of San Diego and its Stormwater Management Program. The Port manages the San Diego Bay and is responsible for the development, management, and maintenance of the San Diego Bay Tidelands. The picture on the right has highlighted the Port's jurisdiction in orange and has also labeled its five member cities, Chula Vista, Coronado, Imperial Beach, National City, and San Diego. The Port's Stormwater Management Program works throughout the Port's Thailands, preventing, reducing, or eliminating polluted stormwater and urban runoff from entering the bay, and works with tenants directly to ensure that stormwater regulations are complied with. Port inspectors also conduct annual inspections at industrial and commercial facilities between December and June. Section 2, Stormwater 101. Did you know that the sewer and the storm drain system are two separate drainage systems? We'll start with the sewer system first. The sewer system pipes take all the water from inside a building, like from toilets and sinks, and drains the water to a treatment facility where the water is then treated and cleaned before being released into the ocean. The storm drain system, on the other hand, collects all the water from the outdoors, such as rain and other non-stormwater discharges, also known as urban runoff, and sends it untreated to oceans and waterways. Since there is no treatment, things like trash, pollution, pesticides, pet waste, bacteria, and other hazardous materials also get carried into storm drains. Everything that goes into a storm drain doesn't just disappear. If you follow it, you will see it in the oceans very soon. That's why it's so important to prevent any type of discharge and debris from getting into storm drains. Urban runoff is considered the biggest contributor to coastal water pollution. Heavily polluted urban runoff that enters into storm drains can result in a variety of issues, including beach closures and drinking water contamination. This can put a community's health and natural resources at risk. Here is the depiction of the flow of stormwater as it pushes trash to nearby storm drains. This is the path of urban runoff. Trash and other forms of pollution from urban areas flow into storm drains and get taken to the bay. As mentioned earlier, stormwater isn't the only type of water that can wash pollutants down a storm drain. I could have easily replaced the stormwater cloud in image 1 to be someone washing their car in the street, or sprinklers flowing into the street, or even someone dumping liquids into the street. All those and many more activities can easily wash different toxins and pollutants that we can and cannot see into storm drains, ultimately degrading water quality. Section 3. BMPs to the Rescue the amount of pollution in waterways and oceans can be minimized when people follow pollution prevention actions, such as disposing of their trash properly. Well, best management practices, or BMPs, are pollution prevention techniques for stormwater. BMP is a term used in the stormwater field, and they are the techniques or activities selected to reduce and keep pollution out of storm drains. Industrial and commercial facilities are known to generate large amounts of pollution. This is why the use of and maintenance of BMPs is critical as it allows for a reduction or elimination in the amount of pollutants entering storm drains and neighboring waters. Did you know that you are also responsible for BMP implementation and maintenance? Every person in your facility has a responsibility for complying with BMP guidelines or pollution control requirements. All facilities, including their designated outdoor areas, are required to prevent pollutants from entering the storm drains. Any business may also be held responsible for violations and failure to implement the minimum required BMPs, which can result in enforcement actions and fines. 
Now that you have had an introduction to stormwater protection, we'll dive into the list of minimum required BMPs that must be followed at your site. The General Operations and Housekeeping section consists of measures designed to keep your facility clean and properly maintained. Conducting routine inspections of BMPs and stormwater drains means to check as often as needed that BMPs are constantly in place and functional at your facility. If you notice a BMP that is constantly lacking every time you inspect it, it may be time to increase your routine inspection of that BMP or fix how that particular BMP is being implemented. Keeping storm drains clean while regularly disposing of debris should also be conducted frequently enough so that debris does not gather in storm drains. The picture on the left shows how a storm drain that is not being regularly maintained. Storm drains should be cleared of natural and man-made debris. Lack of stormwater drain cleaning and maintenance can cause storm drains to become clogged and flooded. General housekeeping BMPs also include keeping outdoor areas neat and clean while sweeping to control for dust and debris so that trash does not get carried away by wind or rain to nearby storm drains. Non-stormwater management BMPs are BMPs that prevent non-rainwater discharges from getting into storm drains. These BMPs include having spill response materials available at the facility in case spills do occur, also making sure to clean and sweep up the spill immediately. The second BMP is keeping your facility clear of illegal discharges, which are essentially anything that is not stormwater, and keeping your facility clear of illegal connections, or any connection to the storm drain system that conveys an illegal discharge. An important fact to note is that irrigation runoff, as seen in the picture on the right, is also considered an illegal discharge. If your sprinklers are causing water to overflow onto the street or sidewalk, you should be recalibrating your sprinklers. You might be thinking that water coming out of a sprinkler system is clean, but even clean water is not allowed in the storm drain because once that water flows down the streets, it is becoming contaminated with bacteria and pollution before entering storm drains. The Outdoor Material Storage BMP section describes how to properly store and dispose of materials kept outside. The first BMP is properly disposing hazardous waste. This means not throwing hazardous waste away in the normal trash cans or dumpsters. Instead, to dispose of hazardous waste, you would need to either take the waste to a specific disposal site or call a hazardous waste company to come pick up your waste so that they can dispose of it properly. Next is making sure outdoor storage areas and materials have an overhead cover or are placed within secondary containment, which is something that can contain a spill or leak. All stored materials need to be properly sealed and labeled. It is also important to minimize outdoor storage areas as much as possible. If storage items are scattered along a big area, you should consolidate the area by moving the materials closer together. The picture in the middle represents a storage area that is not following any of the stormwater BMPs, while the three pictures on the right show how the storage area from the picture in the middle can be covered, minimized, and labeled. The outdoor parking BMP addresses keeping parking areas neat, clean, and free from debris or discharges. In this case, Regularly sweeping parking areas means often enough so that your facility's parking lot is always neat and clean. The outdoor drainage from indoor activity BMP makes sure that debris from your facility stays indoors. When indoor materials and discharge get tracked outside, they are now able to flow to nearby storm drains. In the bottom picture, a mat placed between the indoor and outdoor walkway is able to capture debris as people walk out. Waste handling and recycling BMPs are important as they directly prevent trash and debris from getting into storm drains. These BMPs include making sure waste containers do not overflow. This means disposing trash from waste containers completely inside the dumpsters. If dumpsters are full, do not leave trash bags by the side of the dumpsters. Birds can peck open the trash bags, spilling the contents all over the floor. If dumpsters at your facility are always full, this may be an indication that your facility needs to schedule a more frequent trash pickup schedule or rent more dumpsters. Education and training is also an important BMP. 
Tenants must keep record of which employees have conducted training. The easiest way is through an employee training record, also available on the port's website. From the port's perspective, the training you are receiving through this presentation also counts towards employee training, although it should be supplemented with a walkthrough of the facility's specific BMPs. Vehicle and equipment BMPs include conducting preventive maintenance and checking for leaking fluids on all vehicles and equipment before they might start to leak or break down on site. The second on this list is minimizing, capturing, containing, or treating all waste and wash water that you use. Capturing used wastewater can be done with a water vacuum, as seen on the picture on the right. If your facility does not have one, there are many companies who provide water capturing services. Make sure the company you hire for this and any other service knows about stormwater regulations to avoid citations. Containing areas where wash water is being used will prevent it from entering a storm drain, but it is also your job to properly dispose of the captured water. An example of properly disposing of contaminated water is disposing of the water in the sewer system. A sewer discharge permit may be required for the discharge, so check with your local agency to verify. Last on this list, absorbent booms or other spill materials must be available when fueling on-site vehicles and equipment in case of a spill or discharge. Overwater activity BMPs protect discharges and debris from spilling into the water. These BMPs apply to maintenance repair projects on docks, piers, and walkways found directly above water. Water booms with nets should be used to remove debris, and wet vacuums should be used to quickly capture debris from overwater maintenance activities. Keep in mind that some maintenance repairs require approval from the port. Outdoor activity and operation BMPs requires that your facility's outdoor areas be free from spills and debris. It also requires capturing, containing, or treating all wash water. The last BMP is a Stormwater Pollution Prevention Plan document, or SWIP. The SWIP identifies the activities occurring on your facility and the BMPs your facility will implement to prevent pollutants from leaving the site. Please be aware that only select facilities are required to have a SWIP. If you are unsure, ask your employer if a SWIP is present at your facility. We're here to help! If you want the port to come answer your stormwater questions, or if your facility would like to have a live presentation of this training, contact us to set up a presentation. As a reminder, inspections for industrial and commercial facilities are conducted annually between December and June. Your facility will be contacted by a port inspector to schedule an inspection that will consist of a site visit to observe whether the facility is implementing BMPs and maintaining documentation, checking if there are any non-permitted discharges, verifying training records, and finally, presenting the facility representative a copy of the inspection results and any follow-up actions they may need to fix. The port stormwater inspectors ensure individual sites and facilities are operating in compliance of federal, state, and local laws. Section 4. Reporting and important contact information to take away. You can report BMP violations and illegal spills or discharges to the numbers listed below. Please note that your reports can also be done anonymously. To report storm drain pollution on Port Thailands, call the number below. If the storm drain pollution is off Port Thailands, call the County Stormwater Hotline. If you aren't sure, you can call the Port Hotline and we will determine the correct agency. To report a spill or discharge directly in the San Diego Bay, you can call either the San Diego Harbor Police or the Coast Guard at the numbers listed below. Here are some important websites and numbers if you want to learn more about stormwater rules and regulation from the Port of San Diego's Environmental and Land Use Management Department, the San Diego Regional Water Quality Control Board, and lastly, the California Stormwater Quality Association. Thank you for your attention on this BMP training, and thank you for protecting the San Diego Bay.